Okay, now first let me show you the one hand swipe gestures I have set on my phone. And then in the later part of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can set this up. Let's dive right in. Now the first useful setting is swipe diagonally down on the right side of the screen to rotate your screen right and swipe diagonally up to rotate your screen left. This makes it easier to rotate the screen whenever you want while you don't want the auto rotate features to be turned on on your phone. Let's say you are looking at an image in the gallery and you want to see that image in the landscape mode. Just swipe diagonally down to rotate the screen to landscape mode and then swipe diagonally up to get back to portrait mode. All right, now the next setting is diagonally down and hold. I have set a particular application which I use frequently to open up when I swipe diagonally down and hold on the screen from the right side, or you can set this up on the left side as well. As you can see here, the YouTube Studio app opens when I swipe down from the right side and hold it on the screen. You can select any application to open it in this way. The next swipe gesture I have set on the phone is diagonal swipe down from the left side of the screen. This is set to open the applications in split screen view. Let's say I'm using internet browser. I will swipe diagonally down from the left to open this application in split screen view. And here we can choose any application and open it. Let's say Samsung notes to note down something from the web page. This is a very functional swipe gesture, isn't it? Let's move on to the next one, diagonally up and hold from the left. For this, I have selected secure folder to open. Just swipe up and hold the secure folder can be accessed instantly. That's awesome. Fifth one is diagonal swipe down from the left and hold. This will open the task switcher. As you see with this gesture, I'm able to open the recent tasks in list view. I don't really have to open the recent applications and scroll through to select any application. I can select any recent app in the list view right here. That is brilliant. Sixth one is swipe diagonal up and hold from the right side. For this gesture, I have set the torch to turn on. That is pretty handy. The last gesture I have set on my phone is swipe right from the left edge of the screen and hold. This will open screen recording menu. Again, a very useful gesture if you frequently record your screen. You can also set screenshot option instead if you want. That's useful indeed. All right, now these are some of the useful swipe gesture handles I have set up on my phone. Now, before I go ahead and show you how you can set it up on your device, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel to watch some useful contents like this and a smash on that like button would be much appreciated. So go ahead and do that. Now, let's dive right in. I'm sure you would have guessed it already. We need an application called One Hand Operation Plus, which is offered by Samsung itself. Now, this application is available on Play Store as well as Galaxy Store. I will leave a link for that in the description below. You can go ahead and download it. Once you download it, open the application and turn this feature on. Now I will show you one example for setting up all these gestures. The process will be the same, but the outcomes or the results when you use a gesture depends on what you have selected from the list. I have already shown you what I have selected on my device. You can customize the way you want. You can select any outcome or any result which are available on this application. As you can see, we have got toggles for the left handle and right handle. Let me just tap on the left handle here. As you can see, we have two different swipe options here. One is short swipe and the next one is long swipe. Now this long swipe doesn't really mean you have to really swipe it long. You just have to swipe your finger from the edge of the screen and hold it. Now here we have got straight right, diagonal up, diagonal down. And for swipe and hold, we have got straight right, diagonal up and diagonal down. Let me just open the swipe actions here. Now all these swipe actions will be the same for all these gestures we have. You open diagonal up, you will have the same list here. You open diagonal down, again you will have the same list. You can select the one you want here. Now let me just select diagonal down. I will select start application. I can select any app I want to open when I swipe from the left side edge of the screen diagonally down. For example, let me just select Galaxy Store. Now when I swipe diagonal down, the Galaxy Store opens. Now let me select something for diagonal down under long swipe. I will select quick tools. Now when I swipe my finger diagonally down from the left and hold it on the screen, the quick tools will open. This is how you can set the actions for the swipe gestures. Let's go back. Now for the right handle also it's the same process. Now we've got some advanced settings here. As you can see, we can change the animations as well. We've got arrow one, arrow two, curved line, and we can also set the colors for the curved lines. This is just amazing. Then we've got few more options here, which you can explore it by yourself. Let's go back. 
We've got some gesture settings here and we can also customize the touch width, size and position. Just in case if you want to change the handle color, you can just select this and change the color and set the one you want. At the end, we also have an option, custom vibration intensity. Just in case if you want vibration feedback, you can set this as well. Isn't that an incredible application offered by Samsung? This makes life much easier. We can just swipe from the left or right edge of the screen to execute different actions. Let me know what do you think about this app in the comment section below. Have you been using it already? Do drop a comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful. That's about it. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.